In this tutorial, we will write a Python program to display powers of 2 using anonymous function which is often called lambda function. So uh, we will take number of terms, how many number of terms users want to display from user. So this will go input into number of terms and uh, we will be using a uh, couple of uh, new functionalities. First of all, I want you to get familiarized with the anonymous function, which we call lambda. In lambda, you uh, give x, and for this, you perform some kind of activity. Or for for example, if I want to uh, raise two power x, then this is my function. For example, uh, I name it a. A equals to this. Okay, and now. Now if I use this function and I give it 4 and 4 instead of 4 it will return 2 power 4. So if you give 4 it will uh, go to the x and for this we will use this for x and which will be 2 power 4 and x will have value 4 and it will return as four, uh, 16 2 power 4 16. So this is your actual lambda function. And there is a uh, function method called map. What it actually does is, if I press shift and tab, you give it any uh, function, and that function will be, you give it a function, and that function will be applied to any iterable. Iterable can be your uh, list, your set, your dictionary, your tuples, or anything uh, we can iterate over it. It can be loop as well, anything. Okay, so in this map, I'm giving this lambda function, which uh, which actually what does is it uh, um, returns the powers of two. So this lambda function, and I can uh, iterate over. Let's say if I want to give it one, two, three, four, five list. So this uh, this is a map actually, and if I make list of it, it is giving me two, four, eight, sixteen. So what it actually did is it mapped every value of this list to this function. So, 1 went into this, 2 power 1, 2. 2 went into this, 2 power 2, 4. 3 went into this, three power, oh, 2 power 3, 8. 4 went into this, 2 power 4, 16. So, this maps every value of uh, our table, which is list, to this lambda function. And this creates a map object. This is actually a map object, if you see. See? map object is stored at this memory and finally we create list of this object which just returns the list of all the values this map has okay so this is our value and instead of list what i will do is i will put range of number of terms which means if user has given the number of terms 10 then if you create range of it this will be your values from 0 to Number of terms up to zero up to number of terms which is uh, number of terms are 10 so 0 to 9 first 10 terms so this is our actually results let's say i have created a variable name with this results okay so i delete these ones i cut it from here and put it here okay so i hope this code uh, is understandable now let's print them so uh, total number of terms are uh, how many uh, n terms and we loop over it for i in range in range um, n terms and we print 2 raised to power power i is um, results on index i results is a list and we can pick up any variable on uh, any value of the list uh, by giving index and index is a, uh, and terms which is the same which is the corresponding terms so this will actually should give us value for example i want to give 10 then i have 2 raised to power 0 1 2 raised to power 1 2 2 raised to power 4 2 raised to power up to 9 I can give any value, I can give 100. This will give me up to 2 power 100 values as well. You can give any value. 
and instead of two power you can make power of 10 as well 3 as well it's up to you you just have to change it over here and for your understanding over here as well so if i give this is a power of a 10 so this is how things work i hope this is clear and i hope you learned something from this tutorial if you did please subscribe to my youtube channel and see you in next tutorial